Welcome to Jobs in Tech. Jobs in Tech, welcome to the show. In the studio, in the house, Mr. Brad Anderson. What's going on in the world of Jobs in Tech? Actually, a lot. How you doing, Mr. Bobby? It's been a while since we've done this. It has been a while. It's just you and me today. We're talking about the... The uh, state of the union. Oh, I mean the state of the jobs in the state world. Of tech. <laughs> state of tech. Yes. Something like that. Something like that. I don't that. think we've actually like you know really formalized a name for it yet, but I think the state of tech. State of good. tech. I like state of tech. Pretty it, simple. It, pretty it, easy. It, right? Yep. I will forget it. So you're gonna have to remind me next time that we're. I doing might forget one. it. <laughs> state of tech. Today we're gonna be talking about. I mean, there's a lot of talk. Out there in the world, I know in your world, there's a ton of, of craziness. And, of course, what is your world? Maybe give everybody a heads yeah. up of what your world is. I'll give them a heads up of my world just to kind of review. Absolutely. Um, so my world is the staffing and consulting side of things. So I deal tech with specific. Specifically in tech, we do we do nothing but IT, software engineers, developers. Uh, my background is more on the martech side so you've got programs and SaaS programs like salesforce sitecore magento adobe experience manager adobe cloud um so that's that's my background cool and of course i own an it services company so i'm on the other side of hiring and connecting and finding out what's going on in in tech in the world and keeping up to date with all that good stuff so we've kind of got this a little bit of yin and yang yeah yin and yang yes yes And, and and we're both you know, big proponents of technology. We've been in it. It's been good to me. I know I've 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 loved being in the industry for Absolutely. the last twenty years, and uh, it's been good. Tech is where it's at. Tech is where it's at. It's not going anywhere. No, it's not. It's, it's <laughs> going to be around for a while, especially with AI. Yeah, yeah. Really, AI isn't just going to take it all over, and we won't need to do anything anymore. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's another episode. Who needs a developer <laughs> when you can just pop it into AI and it will make it? It'll make whatever, right? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, we just jumped way far ahead into the future, so let's get back to the show. What are, what are we going to talk about today? I mean, I know what we've talked about talking about, but what, how do you feel about the market in the world, uh, all of that good stuff? I know my thoughts and what I've been hearing is that all hell is broken loose. The world is coming to an end. There are many more people out there that want tech jobs that that the tech jobs aren't available. I mean, that's what you hear. Uh, The big companies did a bunch of layoffs and tech layoffs, and now the market is saturated and the whole world is corrupting inside itself. Is that what's going on, Brad? I don't necessarily know about that. (laughs) Um, Long story short, just to kind of sum it up, um, there are still going to be more jobs out there than there are people to fill them. I think that's a fact. We know that. That's not going away anytime soon. However, I think what we have seen lately is we've seen companies decide not to not to put the growth in, in, in hyper mode like they have in the past. Hmm. So what that has created is is still this. They're putting the brakes on some things a little bit. Yeah. So I think there's this uncertainty. And obviously, yes, there's layoffs. And, and I feel really horrible for the people that have been laid off. But there's still growth in tech now, still jobs still jobs out there um still still paying really well still still being able to you know uh, get you what you what you deserve in that in that respect but um what i kind of want to touch upon is um even though so every every quarter the 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 bureau of labor and statistics actually puts out a report saying okay where's where's the jobs at and there's also a bunch of other companies out there that do the same thing, and they do it on a monthly basis. Now, the report that I'm going to refer to is from CompTIA, and they're talking specifically about tech jobs. Hmm. And just in March, what they found is that... March 2023? March 2023, mm-hmm. the unemployment rate is at 2.2%. So that means, yes, we've seen a lot of layoffs, but there's still a lot of unemployment in the industry, which means that there's still growth and there's still opportunities out there. Now, for all other industries, unemployment is at 3.5. So you so can see still the higher. Or it's still better. It's still than better. But tech yeah. is still better than general. Absolutely, jobs. and that's that's a good thing. 
So last month alone, there were over 76,000 job postings for tech positions out there. 76,000. Which brings the total for the for the year uh, up to 316,000. It hasn't been year that to high date. year to date. That hasn't been that high since July of 2018. Really? Mm-hmm. That seems like it goes against all of the craziness everybody is saying. Why right? is that? Well, I, I, like I said, I still think companies understand and realize that they have to get work done and there's certain positions that they just need. But are companies growing? I mean, yes. I mean, companies growing. are always going to grow. Yeah, I think I mean, it just depends on no your matter industry what and kinda, what you're trying to do. Yeah, no matter what kind of account uh, the world is, is in, whatever, there's still smart companies that will grow, that will do exactly. uh, innovative things and... So you I hit it right on always, the head. Yeah, there's, there's always, always companies that are going to start up that are going to say, hey, you know what? This is this is a new area. We're growing. We we've got a great uh, roadmap ahead of us, but we need to hire and we need to hire now. But you think companies are a little more finicky right now? Personally, yeah. I mean, it depends on where you're at and, and what kind of what your specialty is. But, yeah, I mean, on certain things, I, I still think that there are there's a lot of uncertainty because there's this fear of, of I hate I hate to say it the word but there's a fear of a recession and and companies obviously have a fiduciary obligation to their stakeholders to make sure that they're showing profits so what i think that's doing is it's kind of making everybody say yeah we're gonna hold off for now we're not we're not sure if we big plans we had maybe no do you think it it, it's different with uh bigger corporations and and smaller companies are they are you seeing a difference between like corporation hiring and small startup hiring or I mean I mean I know there's a difference. Yeah, I mean you're always going to see that difference. I mean when you're talking startup and they're in growth mode, they're trying if they've been funded and they're in the continuing to grow, they need people right away. So you're always going to see that that push to have people. Now, on the corporate side, because of all those obligations, it's a little bit different. So that's where I think you're seeing a lot of the big layoffs. Mm. But I think that's just kind of personally kind of course correcting. I think I think there was a lot of hiring done during COVID because we had to pivot. And, and I think this is just kind of like a course, course reset. So with that said, if I'm a, a tech person out there and I'm looking for a job, maybe I've been laid off, maybe I'm just not happy where I'm at or, or what have you. What What's the advice right now in this world uh, – currently the job market the tech market what would be your advice to anyone looking for a gig looking for a new gig or just trying to find a job in yeah tech? absolutely um obviously the biggest thing that i would i would advise is make sure to stay up to date on all of your skills don't let them go by the wayside continue to practice take on projects take on side work whatever you can do to still stay current on everything that's that's your best advice if there's any sort of certifications that you've been putting off, now is the time to get them. So from twofold, you if you already are in a job and you're happy with your job, but you, you want to maybe get a raise or, or maybe look into promotion, those types of things are great for you. And, and continuing to do those is always a good thing. Now is the time to provide yourself to be more valuable and to show more worth to the company if you want to stay where you're at. If you're looking, again, it's the same thing. You want to showcase your talents. You want to continue to push forward and still be able to, to say that you know what you know. And the best way to do that is through a certification. Hmm. I want to ask, it, on that note, is it currently, do, would you advise people to do consulting then if it, to learn to, to kind of keep, keep up or at least while they're looking for a job, do some consulting side stuff to Absolutely. keep up? and. Uh, would you say the market for consultants is up or down or what would you say there when I'm yes. just throwing the consultant piece yeah. in there? <laughs> here's here's the funny thing. So, yes, companies are doing layoffs, but what happens is they still need to get the work done. Now, a company's biggest liability is its workforce. Now, if you take that out of the equation and you can do consulting where you're paying uh, maybe like – let's say TechBridge, for example, you're paying TechBridge to bring these consultants on, we're taking that risk for you, that liability now becomes a business expense. So it's actually more profitable for mm-hmm. you. So 
Yes, I would. I would definitely advise you, like, if anybody's looking to get on the consulting side. And, from and it the doesn't mean you can't side. go look for a job exactly. while you're consulting too. Even if you've got exactly. a really good six month gig or something like that, there's nothing wrong with with being. Yeah. It doesn't make you look bad to be a consultant. No, does it? Not at all. Not at all. The thing that that is really cool about you know consulting is, if you're looking to grow your skill set consulting is the way to do it because you're constantly having to learn new things true you're constantly having to connect true. you know different technologies together and make them work so you you don't just get pigeonholed into one thing you can learn many many different things so it's always a good thing in my book to to go through a round of consulting do a couple years of consulting that will help you in your career immensely yeah i like it i th- i think we we miss the consulting piece and and I know there are people out there that are, I got to get benefits. I got to, you know, I need the stability of a job. Well, here's the thing. If you partner with the right company, they'll provide them for you. Even as a consultant. Even as a consultant. You have that option. Cool. Well, what do you, so with that all said, what do you think the the future of this whole craziness is? It, it, do you think things are going to get better? Are they going to get worse before they get bad? I mean, what What do you, uh, I know we're just you right. know, prophesizing here. We're just kind of looking into the, our looking little into ball. Looking into my crystal ball. Yeah, the little crystal ball <laughs> here. We're, we're doing some, but I, I'm just curious. I mean, if the world, you know, you said, rece- you said the recession word, all that stuff. I mean, if things get worse that way, what, what do you think? I, I'm just picking Brad's brain right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm only going to maybe say, I'm going to talk about 2023. I still think that what's the way companies have been going and how, I guess, shy they've been to to add anybody, I think we're starting to get past that. Obviously, the numbers prove that. You're starting to see that. I think we're going to continue to push. I think people are going to continue to You think it's going to get better. And I think it's going to get better. For 2023, I I don't want to go past that because you never know what what can happen. But for the rest of the year, yeah, I really see that it's going to be a push forward. Companies, Companies still are working. Start to hire again. Things They're are still get back to normal. They're still making money. Exactly. They they, they got to work. They got to do. And and you think uh, that stuff will will all level out? Absolutely. I think it already starting to. Mm-hmm. And like I said, the numbers are proving that. We're starting to see that. You can see that it's starting to, to come back. Yeah, there's actual metrics around it. Absolutely. And, 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 and we got our crazy naysayers and people out there going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? But it, it already looks like it's turning around. Yeah, I mean, at least for this year, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, we've, we've had a slow start into 2023, but even, even going back a little bit further, but towards Q4 of, of 2022, Companies were holding off. They were starting to do layoffs. They weren't. They weren't doing projects. Yeah, Q one of 2022 was the good life, man. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was a flooded market. There was more. There wasn't enough jobs to fill fill people that want them. Well, I still think you're going to have that. But again, I think companies are really figuring out what 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 the priorities are and what what takes precedence over other projects. Yeah. So that's where I think you're not seeing that hiring. Um, you know, six months ago. I would talk to a candidate and they would have five other offers. Mm. Now I talk to a candidate and they're like, "Nah, eh, maybe I don't, if this doesn't work out, I'm going to stay where I'm at. I'm, I'm, I'm happy here. So it's really, mm. depending on where you're at, it's kind of switched from a candidate market to more of an employer market. Mm. So it just really depends on where you're at, what technology you're in, what your focus is, and then go from there. Cool. So I'm, I'm, I want to take, I want to take uh, a detour here. Absolutely. So we've been talking about kind of the jobs that are out there and and what's happening and 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 how maybe we're we're a little more positive. We're thinking things are going to get a little bit better. Absolutely. And, and I mean, according to the metrics, they already they are, are getting better. Mm-hmm. If I was if I was a hiring manager, so let's let's move to the other side and say I'm a okay. I'm a hiring manager. And my company is in that space of, you know what, we're kind of shoring things up, we're tightening yeah. things up a little bit, but you still got work. You, you still got work that needs to get done. What's happening? What's, what's going on right now? And, and what is that, that, that manager of that department or the IT, uh, what are they doing to kind of, I know keep I've their been, employees? In, well, yeah, keep their employees. Yeah. I, I know I've been in that position where all of a sudden you've got three new jobs because they let go of the other guys or, or yeah. what have you. And man, it's, it's brutal. 
It is. And and if you're a hiring manager, I mean, things are coming down from, from upper management that you can't hire. So the best thing you can do is support your staff. Make sure that they have good work-life balance. Make sure, you know, you understand their fears. Address those fears and let them know that, you know, be transparent. If there's anything that you know, don't be afraid to share it. That's going to go a lot further for people than I don't knows or everything's up in the air. We don't know. Being fully transparent, in my opinion, is the only way to do business. Because if you are, people will be more loyal to that and understanding. So what does that look like? Else. That transparency, let, let's say, hey, guys, I mean, would that be... Hey guys, you know, we just have to shore up right now. We can't hire. I know we're all overworked. Yeah. Uh, is that, but hey, upper management's just trying to keep the doors open. Well, I wouldn't go like. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I don't know. That's I mean, why I'm asking. I, I guess it really just depends on the vibe and the culture of what, what you've, yeah. you know, set up. But like, obviously, you may not have, if you're in a Fortune 500 company or something like that, you're not going to have all the answers. And, and you can't give information and you don't want to speculate. But, from a departmental side, you can under you can give them what you have uh, from that side of things. So being fully transparent, hey, look, yes, I know we're understaffed right now. I really care about you. Um, I want to make sure that you're taken care of. Make sure you have a good work life balance. Make sure that you know you get to your kid's soccer game or football game or lacrosse or whatever. Make sure you're taking that vacation time to to unplug and and really have that balance. So on the other end of that, so let's say I've got that job. I'm one of those overworked tech guys now, and I'm, I'm like, dang, I'm working a lot of hours. What, what, what is, what is the, um, what would you tell them? What, hang in there. Uh, it's gonna get better. There'll be g better jobs soon I, I i don't know what what do we well, what do we tell those guys that are overworked now that are like dude i'm doing the work of three guys now this yeah sucks. I, I mean there are lots of different things for that i mean if you if you really believe in the company that you're at and you want to stay there then continue on but now is a time like we sucks kind of the culture sucks they don't they don't they don't care well, about their works, employees yeah you're probably not going to want to be there then that's that's what i would advise you to call me but <laughs> right. that, that's another conversation <laughs> but let's say you do really enjoy the company you want to be with them you see the vision you understand that these are uncertain times this is we, we kind of already talked about this but this is where getting those certifications matter understanding how to be more valuable to the company mm -hmm. is going to go further and longer for you in the long run. Now, if your company is a good one to be at, they'll recognize that and they'll want to keep you and they will compensate you when they can accordingly. So if you just step up to the plate and do what exactly. you need to do, I, I, I've seen it so much in, in my corporate experience in, in the IT and, and, and I've, we've, we've, you know, in the 20 years, I've yeah. seen a few things of just, ups just and downs. Now, one or yeah. Two, you know, right. Nothing and, big. <laughs> and layoffs after layoffs. And, right. And I, I just, I always knew the guys that complained, the guys that were constantly complaining about how sucky everything was, they were the first, first to, to go. go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, it's here to company. Right. And, and uh, I, I, I would almost, I could almost, I knew when there were layoff talks and stuff like that, man, I know Jerry you know, and Jack are getting it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nobody <laughs> wants that culture around. So to me, it just makes sense. A company is going to get rid of the people that that are the naysayers or, or the Debbie Downers. And I apologize for that term. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the people that are very negative, companies don't want them around. They yeah. don't. They don't want to have to deal with the burden of, of making sure that you know they don't you know make things worse for everybody else or or make things a, a, a worse work environment for everybody else. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Uh, so overall, we kind of I think both of us kind of feel like I, I I choose to feel positively about the the jobs in tech. Yeah. World well, right now. I mean, now. the numbers speak for themselves. I mean, there, we can't really. Know we the can't future. see the future. We can't. We can't look into that crystal ball. But I think we just have just like the gauge. stock market when it has a uh, exactly. When you follow the what do they call it? The the oh, crap. Why is my brain not working? The Dow, the Nasdaq. No, you follow the trend. 
Ah, you follow okay. the trend. That's the word I was looking <laughs> for. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what it is. I mean, it sucks that there's so much validity right now in, in terms of people's uncertainty with, with the market, but it's going to come around. There, we, We've we already discussed. We know that there's more jobs out there than there are people, but companies are, are realizing and reprioritizing what what matters most to them. So truthfully, if you're listening right now, you, you're a tech person and, you, and you've You've either got that great job, or you don't, or you're looking. Uh, the, we, hopefully, we're a we're a, a word voice for the why, a voice of reason, word for the wise, something you can listen to and kind of get the straight shooting, yeah. straight shots. Uh, of course, on the show, we've we've we talked about our our changing the format to to jobs in tech. We do. We are going to start uh, interviewing companies that are hiring, or and, and and all of that good stuff. So the future, I think, looks bright for us too. Absolutely. Yeah, that that we're going to move forward with this whole jobs and tech thing. Yeah, and Bobby, I know you and I talked about this, but we haven't really came up with a name for it. But if you are looking and you are interested in, you know, showing off your skill set, we would love to have you be a guest on the show and. You know, we'll we'll give you five minutes and, and ask you questions just to promote you. We want to see you get a job if you're if you're looking or if you're you're in a bad situation. I don't know if we came up with a name. I don't of, think of we did. We so for that, but yeah, that's that's so that's overall what we're we're, too. we're usually going to be interviewing companies and, and they're hiring. But this is kind of a segment we've been thinking of people that are yeah. a technology person that's maybe looking or or just has two cents of. This is maybe they've just found something, or maybe it was one of your yeah, placements or something absolutely. that we can. So yeah, we don't have a name yet. <laughs> no, we don't have a name, but I think that's something that that I think is important to Bobby and I. I think we really want to help. If you are looking for a job, we want to help you. We want to highlight you. We want to make sure that your skill sets are out there and and help you find that next opportunity. Yeah, that's what uh, jobs and tech's all about. It's right. it's interesting. I I love the whole world of technology, and I think you you do as well. It's yeah. it's exciting. It's interesting. I'm more on the side of helping people. I mean, that's that's what drives me. Yeah, the technology is just the added benefit. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. I like. I love the innovation. I love where we're going with it. But ultimately, I love helping people. Well, cool. I think this is kind of the the state of the. What we call it? State of tech. State of tech. State of tech. State of tech. We're gonna we're gonna do these periodically and kind of yeah. talk back and forth of how Probably we feel every about three, things. Probably three, four episodes. Yeah, I yeah. would love I would love to yeah, talk just, about that. Talk yeah. about other subjects that that are, are relevant to to getting a job in tech or hiring people in tech. Yeah, maybe some articles or something yeah. that we find interesting things about that I see technology world. Yeah, yeah. just that's that's gonna be what this is about, and hopefully you'll find some some something out of it uh, get some good knowledge yeah out gets, of it. yeah there you go there you go so thank you uh, for listening we're gonna any anything you want to wrap up uh brad no uh if you are looking uh definitely don't hesitate to reach out to me i would love to help you and, and love to talk to you and learn more about what it is you're looking for in your next opportunity you can you can email me at uh well yeah you can email me at b anderson at techbridging.com or if you go to our website there's there's an opportunity for you to fill out a form there and we'll we'll reach out to you and get that's techbridgeinc.com absolutely <laughs> awesome all right let's wrap this up thank you for listening you have been listening to jobs in tech <laughs> i love it <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time <laughs>